Hello guys, welcome to the KGK channel. This is yours truly, KGK Revealed. And today we'll be doing a video on Soul Calibur 5 character customizations. Now there's a whole bunch of noise for this new system for character customizations. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, you can make anybody you can think of as far as superheroes, anime characters, RPG characters, fighting game characters, etc. Now there were some characters that people haven't done yet that people kept asking about. Uh, one such character is, in my opinion, um, Spawn. Spawn has appeared in a couple of numerous games. He should be well known how he's been in Soul Calibur 2. So today I'm going to show you how to make a variation of Spawn called Dark Age Spawn. You should be able to make regular Spawn by following the same procedures, but if you know your series or at least know some of the games, you can make this variation as well. So let's start. Okay. So you're probably looking at that outfit and saying, God damn, that's just pretty kick ass. You know, oh, fuck, I, I want to you know, get a Dark Age farm myself. Well, it's not too complicated. Uh, this is all you have to do. Let's start with the body. So for the body, you're going to want your maximum height. For the build, everything 20. Spawn was fucking big. I mean, he was fucking broad. Like, he was... Like a train, you know, a monster, you know, ready to rip people apart. So make him big, big arms, his pecs weren't too big, you know, about minus three for his pecs. As far as hips, you know, for most characters, hips make it really small because it makes them look a lot more top heavy, where it looks like they have like a whole bunch of muscle in the upper part of their body. Thighs, put thighs at one, set calves for four. Uh, stomach and waist, minimize it all the way down to the absolute minimum. And make sure you put his muscle mass to four. You want to look extremely cut. This way you can see some of his definition through his outfit. For his face, it really doesn't matter because his face is not going to get, his face mask won't get taken off. So you, as far as I'm concerned, you can put an old man's face. Because a fuck, no one's going to see him. <laughs> okay, for our eyebrows, yet again, same concept. Doesn't make really matter at all. You can put whatever you want for that. No one's going to see it. But for the voice, the voice is very important. It's a very key element. Put the voice type as superhuman. And set the pitch to negative 8. He gets that cool sounding, sinister like sound for his voice. He didn't sound excited. He always sounded more sullen. Set his tone to 14, negative 14, to get a more serious voice. And lastly, manifestation level, put it all the way up to serious. Now that the basic default set for the body has been put, the next step is equipment. For the equipment, you want the head equipment to be the rubber mask. So you want to see the rubber mask, it's the one that covers your entire face. You know, this way you don't see anything like his hair or nothing else. Everything is basically excluded. For the undergarments, uh, I actually chose mummified. Instead of using rubber uh, unitard, a lot of people will probably say, why didn't you just use the rubber unitard? It should look better. Uh, problem is, if you use the rubber unitard and he gets his equipment knocked off, then you see his face. And then that's when you have a problem, because now you have to do a lot of facial editing. The best way to get around that whole thing is to use the mummified look. It covers everything. His hands, his torso, his legs, his feet, and his head. So even if the equipment gets knocked off, he's still going to look like Spawn, but just without all the extra bulky stuff on top of him. Next, for the waist, well, upper body, before we get to waist, we're going to put the thieves belt. You can see the thieves belt, it's just basically the first item up there. So on the, on the hip, you're going to add the chains, because Spawn had a whole bunch of chains on him. So if you, like, put some chains on his hip, you know, just, just put that up there. Uh, for his neck, put the war cloak. The war cloak is basically towards the bottom. That works the best, it's nice and long, stretches all the way to his feet. And for his arms, you're going to want the voodoo armlets. The voodoo armlets are the ones with the spikes. It's uh, second from the bottom, the last row, right before the iron gauntlets. That's going to be the voodoo armlets. For his shoulders, give him the viking shoulders. They have the one spike. I tried using the other ones, but it didn't get the color that I wanted. This one gave me the best color. I mean, if anyone has any more suggestions about the shoulders, let me know. Send me a message in my mailbox. I'll get to you on the shoulders because that's a big little controversy about the shoulders. For the legs, give them some bandages, but it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see anyway. 
And for the feet, the voodoo go, the, the voodoo greaves goes with the voodoo gauntlets. Work really well. Everything is pretty good. Now, this is something I did on my own. Spawn had a lot of chains. A lot of chains. Chains everywhere. So having it just on his hip didn't seem like enough. So I decided, why don't I put some chains all over the guy? Make it look like he's doing his attack from the actual series. So I added some chains to his hand and to his head. Like, you know, around his neck. This is my personal touch. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it around his biceps. You can put it around his head. You can put it on his leg. Shit, you can put it in front of his body and not even touch his body. I don't care. But, need some chains. Give him some damn chains. He's fucking spawn, you know? So, let's go to chains. Uh, the first one I put was at the collarbone. Set horizontal at 35. Matter of fact, I'll just scroll down this list because it's a lot of stuff for me to go through. So you can see the numbers and you can put the numbers yourself, set everything yourself. You know, if anything, just rewind the video. You'll be able to plug in the stuff you need. That's the first set of chains, second set of chains. Same thing, you put on either hand, whatever. You know, that's all. That should work for you. Okay, so now that we got the equipment out the way, next it has to be the color pattern. Well, for regular spawn, and it's going to be a little bit different than this spawn, but we'll go over this spawn first, and I'll tell you the difference from this spawn and regular spawn. For this spawn, his head equipment, as far as the color goes, 94330, all the way at maximum saturation. Same thing goes for the mummified look, but set it to 94530, it seems to blend better. Upper body seven six twenty six, followed by nine eight thirty one, and lastly nine zero thirty one. For the hip equipment, zero thirty seven eleven. For the neck equipment, the first set of colors, nine twenty two. Well, oh, sorry about that, nine two twenty eight. Second set would be three nine fifteen. For his arm equipment, people would probably use gray, but you're dealing with like metal, so you want to make it look like metal. When I looked at Soul Calibur two, his spikes weren't gray; they were like that in between, like cross of gray and blue. So you want a really faded blue, like a heavily faded blue, to make it look like iron. 3, 35, 14 seems to work best. Uh, you could variate on the colors. For the next color for his gauntlet, 9, 2, 25. And you're going to use 9, 2, 25 for his shoulder, uh, shoulder equipment. The first two colors are going to be exactly the same thing. But the spikes are going to be the same thing as the, other, the previous spikes. And you're going to do the same exact thing for his leg equipment. Everything seems to basically work the same way. For the chains, same color chains for the special chains as used for the chains on the on the hip. So everything blends in. That's the easy part. Now you gotta get to the really hard part, which would be the sign on his chest. This is where we have problems. We have the sign on his chest, and we have his eyes. Because if you haven't noticed by now, and you're doing it while you're watching the video, where the fuck are his eyes? Okay, well, we'll fix that. You are going to have actual eyes go through his mask, but we have to plant that ourselves. So we're going to use the five-sided figure that you see, a pentagram, basically. You know your math, or your, you know your shapes, which hopefully you do. So you're going to use a pentagram, and you're going to basically try to set it so that way the two pentagrams face away from each other, but are right where the, ind the indentation for the eyes are. This way you get that comic book feel of like, you know, those crazy like rugged eyes. You can use the same concept if you're trying to make a Spider-Man. Which I'll probably be do, doing another, like in another video. For someone in my clan made a really kick-ass Spider-Man. He made a black Spider-Man and I'll talk some about that later. So just follow basically the sets that I have up here. And play around with it for the, the pentagrams. The eyes, the same thing. You're going to use circle figures. But you're going to try to basically squint them down a little bit and move them so that way they're right at the edge of the pentagrams but not overlapping it too much. 
Mine is slightly overlapping the pentagram on the right side, but you never even want to notice it during a fight. Okay, set the color for both of the eyes to 92121 and you should be just fine. Uh, if you want a different color, if you want it brighter, just put it up. If you want it darker, put it down. But basically, 921 seems to work in that relatively green area. Now, the last step for making a good spawn. You gotta have those insignia symbols on his chest. What what what, what are those symbols for anyway? I don't know. They look cool. They look cool. Let's spawn symbols. Let's put them up there. Let's put some spawn symbols. Alright, so the best way to do this one is I had to figure out a trick for it. I realized I could use the moon pattern. Motif 12, if you see it. It's gonna be on the first page of the pattern section for the stickers. The first sticker color, set it to 930. Gives it that faded white color that you want. With a second sticker color, sorry about that, we'll set that straight to absolute black. You do this twice for both stickers. Now as far as the location of the two stickers, they're going to basically be doing a mirror concept, if you will. Um, one's going to be over where you would think his pack is going to be, like if he had, if you could see his actual pecs, this will be outlining outline his upper part of his pecs. If that makes any kind of sense to you, that's good. If it doesn't make sense to you, it's really hard for me to explain it. So I'm going to try some other way. I don't know what to really tell you. But the best thing to do, I guess, is yet again look at the way I set everything here. And you can have an understanding of where it's supposed to go. Next will be the strikes on his chest. You can't use the rectangle in this sticker, so you really can't make the strikes by changing the color of the entire piece and then fading everything in. So the only way to really make the strikes work is with two number ones. The reason why this works is because the number ones come with two tones. The out, like, the outside border and then the inside piece. The outside border you can kind of fade out to match the color of spawn. I set this, that's the second color. The second color I just set to 04331. Seem to fade out to his actual outfit. Where the first color set that to white. I put that 9630. That worked out for me. And basically, as far as positions, yet again, you're gonna basically want a mirror concept yet again. It's going like in a linear pattern, but they're crossing over and unifying at the bottom. So at the top, they're separate, but towards the bottom, they kind of connect to sort of like a V shape, you know. This seemed to work for me for spawn. Uh, if you're still trying to figure out how to do the positions, look at the way I set it, the size of the actual side, like the number ones, the rotation, the horizontal position, vertical position. Actually flipped it horizontally if you notice that as well. That's a key element. The second one I didn't have to flip because it was already good enough. That's why I told you about the mirror pattern. When you're doing a mirror pattern, one's flipped, the other one's not. Works out very well. Okay, so that's it. Other than that, the last thing is the sword. If you're doing Dark Age spawn, so for him the sword is going to be completely black. Everything I set to black. And I gave him a red trail color for the weapon. That way he can like, it looks like he's cutting someone's blood. You can't cut blood, but I'm saying he cuts someone's blood because he's spawning. He can do what he wants. He's spawning. So he's sick. Now, for the shoot picture, I mean, that's, eh, I like my picture. But if you want my picture, why not? Because it's cool. You explain that last step here as well. Just play around with it, you know. This is this is going to be for future references where you do your characters. Because people don't do good pictures. And it's, it's like the best, what's one of the best things about the game. For you to really understand the concept of taking a picture, you got to understand how to move the frame with the X button. So this is where you can actually get a good frame setting for your, your character. Then you also gotta understand how to zoom in. Now those are like really obvious, but for some reason people don't realize that you can actually set the frame size for how, like who you're actually taking the picture of. You can make it really big for the full body, or if you want just their head, like a head presentation, zoom it all the way in on their heads. Now you can't even see him. Now you do, but now he's gone. Kind of funny. So now you can just go like this, boom, boom, boom. You see him now. His face is right there. You can take a picture of him like that. 
Now, as far as the background frames, do what you want to do. Lighting, extra effects, a ghost. Got, oh, got a couple of new little things. Who are stars in their picture? Oh, that's kind of gay. But whatever. Um, stars in the picture, you can put that if you want. It's kind of stupid. Got a couple of like little symbols you can put in there, but that's basically like the overlook of this whole picture stuff. Alright, that's it. After that, just put in his name and you got Dark Age Spawn. You could do regular spawn the same way, just make his outfit black instead of dark blue. And give him uh Aeon style. So that way he has two axes. Really similar to the way he was in Soul Calibur 2. Okay, that's it. Uh that's the end of this video. Uh hopefully I'll do another like an extension of the series. I have no idea if I will. I do want to. Um KGK revealed. Hope you enjoyed this video. And take care, have a nice day. See you later.